بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah the most merciful the most compassionate dear viewers everywhere I greet you with the best greeting السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته peace be with all of you wherever you are uh, today we are going to talk about uh, uh, two pictures although they represent the same thing uh, and as you see the first picture uh, shows uh, the Kaaba this cubic uh, black uh, thing that you see in front of you uh, is called the Kaaba and this is uh, the center where the Muslims direct themselves to uh, that place in their prayer and also uh, this is where the Muslims go and uh, make the pilgrimage uh, you know that Hajj or pilgrimage is the fifth pillar of Islam, I remind you of them, that is to bear witness, first of all, that there is no God except Almighty Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. The second pillar is paying uh, the, the, the prayer, doing the prayer, the five daily prayer, and the third one is paying the alms giving and the, yeah, the zakat. And the next one is fasting Ramadan. And the last one is performing Hajj, uh, performing pilgrimage for those who are capable of doing it. Uh, the, the comment that I got about this is that Hajj is uh, a, 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 a representation of global ritual. It, it shows globalization in, in one of its best forms. First of all, when you look at this cubic thing, the Kaaba, uh, as we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about this Kaaba, it, as the verse says that, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن أول بيت وضع للناس للذي ببكة مبارك Indeed, the first shrine, the first sanctuary, the first house that was made for worshipping God for worshipping Almighty Allah is the one that's in Mecca. This one. This is the reference to it. So now let's stop here and, 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 and try to reflect upon this beautiful meaning. We never ever heard that any other religion in the world claims that the temple they have, the church they have, or the synagogue they have, is the first house for worshipping Almighty Allah. But the Quran confirms that this is the first place. And if it is the first place, the implication may be that it was perhaps built at the time of Adam or even before that. It is the first place for worshipping Almighty Allah, which gives this place a global perspective. It's for all the people. Nobody else on the earth can claim that. Which is a very important message, which confirms the beautiful meaning that all these religions, the divine religions, came from one source, which is from God, who is Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is it. The second one is that we know that Muslims perform Hajj based on the command that Almighty Allah made to Abraham, to Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded him. So now, the command was not directly to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It was directly directed to Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. So now the Muslims are celebrating this and responding to this call. And Ibrahim alayhi salam made the call. He called people to come. As the verse commanded Ibrahim, وَأَذِّنْ فِي النَّاسِ بِالْحَجِّ يَأْتُوكَ رِجَالًا وَعَلَى كُلِّ ضَامِرٍ يَأْتِينَ مِنْ كُلِّ فَجٍ عَمِيقًا As the verse says that, call people to come to Hajj and they will come to you walking and riding any means that they can reach there. 
and they will respond to you. They will come to you from every corner in the world. Wow. I think this is a very beautiful lesson. Try to imagine, try to put yourself in the place of Prophet Ibrahim السلام, at that time. And here is the essence, one of the essence of Hajj is showing full surrender to Almighty Allah, is submitting to the command of Almighty Allah. The command was given to him, Abraham السلام, was in the desert of Arabia, in the desert of Mecca. Nobody was there in the desert. And he was commanded to make a call. And he was expected to make a call and to wait for the people to come from everywhere. Try to imagine yourself at that time. There is no electricity. There is no microphone to take his voice to long places, to distant places. So a normal person would say it doesn't make sense. And lots of things may not make sense at their time. However, after some time, they make sense. And that's why the Muslim is a smart human being, because he knows that it makes sense because the command is from Almighty Allah. And whatever comes from Almighty Allah is nothing but the wisdom and nothing but the truth. Here, Ibrahim alayhi salam shows this wonderful example of submission, full submission to Almighty Allah. And he made the call. And nowadays we witness it. Every year people go to perform Hajj coming from the lanes and the villages and the small towns and the cities of everywhere in the world that they come and they respond to the call that was made to Abraham, was made by Ibrahim alayhi salam. In fact, they are responding to the command from Allah, to the call that was made by Ibrahim. This is a beautiful lesson that we can learn from this picture and the following picture. All of them are the same thing, but one of them is a close shot and the other one is not. So here, again, when Muslims do Hajj, when they come from everywhere representing people from different races, from different ages, from different colors, a representation of the whole globe, that's why Hajj is <laughs> representing uh, this concept of globalization in its right and correct form, that this is the place for all the people when they submit to Almighty Allah, when they declare that there is no God but Almighty Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. In other words, when they become Muslims, when they say it by their tongue and they act upon it and by doing these beautiful rituals, we thank Allah again and again and again for making us Muslims and for selecting the right religion for us. Thanks to him and thanks to him and thanks to him. والحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على نبينا محمد والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته